one recent arrival swam in through the lock gates of Canary Wharf to an old coal dock that separates the towers of industry from Billingsgate Fish Market. The Billingsgate porters are a London tradition. For 500 years, men have risen at 4 a.m. each day to distribute fish to a hungry city. But these tradesmen have gone soft on an animal most fishermen would see as the enemy. I think she's camera shy. <laughs> When I first saw her, it was dark and right down the other end of the dock there. And I was coming down the stairs from the change room and I saw this shape in the water and I thought it was a man in the water. No, I didn't think it was human. I could see it was a silt. <laughs> Not that naive, you know. <laughs> Just kick it, kick this. Like that. And up she comes. Like flipper. This seal can escape to the Thames, should she choose to do so, yet she prefers to stay. Certainly catching fish here is a lot easier. Nice big juicy mackerel for her. Bit hungry, it looks a bit narrow. It just puts in her flippers and claws and uh, just strips it down, strips it right off. It's an unlikely relationship. Men considered to be tough as old nails, raiding their stock for the love of a seal. She'll sort of go up and down, follow you along. She sort of performs, you know, especially when she's hungry. <laughs> There's a good girl. It's a lovely girl. Oh, there's more fish in there than there is in there. <laughs> <laughs> For those of us who care to look, London is full of surprises. It's, it's all around you. If you only look and see for yourself what's about, I mean, some people walk back with their head in the clouds, they don't look at nothing. It's true, most Londoners don't notice the nature around them. One in particular is right under their noses, and they barely give these birds a second thought. To the feral pigeon, the streets of London are paved with gold. Lisa, far from ignoring the humble pigeon, Stay boys. has developed an obsession with them. It's all in the art of stealth. She's not a scientist. She's just a girl with an unlikely passion. But you don't crawl around the streets of London for six years without picking up a thing or two. We are in the middle of Soho. So all these guys basically live in Soho Square. Scientists believe that pigeons used to navigate their way using the Earth's magnetic field. And there are actually a lot of scientists now that believe that they just use roads like everybody else. So literally, you know, a Manchester pigeon might arrive in London by flying down the M1. Hello. 